good morning guys it is sunday morning here at the simpson house and what are you doing you little stinking cat what are you doing what are you doing come here no anyway today is sunday and you guys know what that means for me very busy day today very busy day I got uh, church this morning, Sunday school first, 9.45, and then uh, we have our monthly youth council meeting at 3.45 today, and then we have, um, well, we have church, of course, then we have the youth council meeting, and then tonight we have our annual hanging of the greens, and I'm actually really excited about this, actually. So uh, it's where we kind of decorate the church for Christmas and we kind of tell the, the, the Christmas story. And so uh, that's what we're doing. And yeah, um, I, trying to, I was trying to get Asher out here to say hey to you guys. Asher, come see who it is. Asher. He's what? Oh, of course he is. He's eating, of course. But anyway, um, hopefully I'm going to try to get some footage today for you guys. Um, take you guys along with me. See how it goes. And uh, we shall see how they go. So, but first, let's get breakfast started. What are you doing? Who's that? Are you being the Hulk? Yeah. Sure. Yeah? What does the Hulk say? <laughs> I must admit, it does look pretty funny though. A big head like that and a little body like that. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want to tell him, Asher? No, he's going to scare the cat. What do you want to tell him? Huh? <laughs> what do you want to say? Say, what's up? <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Alright guys, there she is. The woman of my house. Yeah. <laughs> the woman of my house. My queen. My homie. Hey, 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 listen. When did standing on a lawnmower be a safe idea, huh? Get down and go get, go, hey, get down. Asher, if that rolls out from under you, that's not going to be a safe situation. Natalie. No. Natalie. Wow. Oh, yeah, he's going to be the next evil Knievel. <sighs> oh, my child. This is what, this is why my wife has, like, gray hair. But she'll get gray hair soon. I don't know, do you? I was surprised you don't. I'm surprised that you don't. You and your, you and your cute little self. <coughs> what are you hacking for? She got COVID. I'm just kidding. Mommy, oh, oops. Mommy, come show me. Oh, come show you. Mama, come show me. Olivia. Okay, come show me. Please. Good morning. Good morning. What you doing? I eat muffins.
All right, guys, so I have made it home from church and just got done putting groceries away with her. <laughs> her, with her. So um, we just ate lunch, getting our, getting our dishes washed and all that stuff. Then Asher cleaned up because he done puddinized himself. Like he literally like decided to finger paint with pudding. Asher, look at daddy. Look at daddy. Who's that? Asher. Yeah, I bet you're so proud, huh? Daddy. Uh, yeah, I bet you're so proud. Hey, Lenny. It's running down the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every time, gotta, gotta get him situated. But anyway, get these dishes knocked out, because this is a mess, and get these dishes put away, and yeah. So now the dishes are done, now it's time for Asher to actually feed some of the nature's beautiful animals. Hey, you ready to feed the birdies? Yeah. All right, listen, let's do the buns first, okay? Come here. All right, the birds and the bees and the coconut trees have been fed. <laughs> and Asher is pooping. <laughs> All right, so Laura is about to make dinner via crock pot here. What are you gonna be making, honey? What is it called? Do you, is there a name for what you're about to make? I don't know. I don't, I don't know the name. I just it. it involves chicken, noodles, um, something called Italian dressing, the Olive Garden brand. No, this is not a promotional video. So, um, the, did you not? Well, I guess we're not making dinner tonight. On second night. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, so Italian dressing. Spaghetti, Italian dressing, and chicken. And she's got the chicken right here. So I'm gonna let you guys watch her make some of this stuff for tonight's dinner. All right guys, so I, the stuff is cooking and Laura is actually gonna try to get little man down for a nap. I'm actually on my way out to church for a youth council meeting and um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, we'll see how dinner turns out. All right, honey? Good, good last time. Well, you added a secret ingredient this time. 
And Laura made up her own ingredient. So we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I'm excited about this dinner. Dinner, dinner, dinner. tonight with the Nativity, our celebration of Christmas is a celebration of God becoming flesh and dwelling among us. Matthew, Luke, and John describe various aspects of this incarnation. Luke wrote about the angel coming to Mary and announcing that God would use her to bring the Savior into the world. He also described the political events that brought a young carpenter and his wife to a feeding trough in the town of Bethlehem. He told of the shepherds in the fields who were visited by a host of angels and ran to see God wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Matthew fills in the details of the angel who came to Joseph and told him that the child Mary was carrying was from him. Despite his reservations, Joseph should still marry his fiancée. Matthew also tells us of the wise men who came from the east to worship the one who will be the king of the Jews. It is Matthew who records the flight of Joseph, Mary, and Jesus to Egypt to escape Herod's decree and their return after his death. John described Jesus as the Word, begins by looking at eternity past, he tells us that before anything came into being, the Word was there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Jesus, the second part of the Trinity, is, eternally, is eternal, fully God. He was not just there when the universe was made but was responsible for its creation. From eternity past, he has been the source of life and light. Then describing the event we find in Matthew and Luke, John wrote that the word, Jesus, became flesh and dwelt among us. In him, we are able to witness the glory of God. Let us pray. O God, whose mighty Son was born in Bethlehem, those days ago. Lead us to that same poor place where Mary laid her tiny child. And as we look on in wonder and praise, make us welcome him in all new life. See him in the poor and care for his handiwork, the earth, the sky, and the sea. O oh God, bless us again in your great love. We pray for this through Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, guys, well, we have made it home from church, and this is the result of what Laura was putting together earlier today, and it looks so stinking good. It's chicken, the Italian 
Olive Garden what? Olive Garden dressing. Olive Garden dressing and just cream cheese. cream cheese. Man, does that look so stinking good or I'm just like really, really hungry. Are you hungry? She's like starving. She's been feeding a baby all day. Well, not all day, but might as well be all day, right? But, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed our video vlog today. We're going to actually wrap it up for the night. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. You know, we really appreciate you guys being a part of our day. Um, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed our snippets and clips of Hanging of the Greens at our church tonight. Um, you know, the Hanging of the Greens was pretty, it was actually a pretty good service. Asher did really good, as you guys may have seen, uh, <laughs> bringing his little poinsettias down. So that was pretty cool. Having his little cute little self. Bopping along, you know, he looked like a like a like a who from Whoville, it's a little short, little short self. And he was so eager to help. Couldn't see over the <laughs> Yeah, he couldn't see over the point. I thought it was the cutest thing ever, but he's my kid. So anyway, thank you guys again for watching. We hope you all have a great night. I would show you Asher, but he is kind of preoccupied right now. So, but we hope you guys have a great night, and we'll see you soon. Bye.